When the road bears your name, it likely means you've lived there a long time, as the Pat Notes have for four generations. Yeah, at eight, I bought my first calf, or my dad bought it for me, and from there, it just kept growing. <laughs> and the love and the passion just kept taking off, I guess, from there on, you know? It was love and passion that led to meeting the love of his life. I didn't come from a dairy farm. I didn't grow up on one, but all of my friends showed cattle. Jenny wanted to be like her friends, so showed her borrowed cow at the county fair. We met there, and he claims that I was like spraying him with the hose to flirt, but I just didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we met, and then he gave me a ride home after the fair, and we've been together ever since. So, what is that? 19 years. 19 years. Yep. It was a little bit of adjustment going from not growing up on a dairy farm to his work hours were from five in the morning until about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. 365 um, days a year. <laughs> weekends, Christmas, so it was a little bit to adjust, but that was our life. Yep. That's, that's what we knew. So we made it, we made it work. But making it work, they say, started getting harder and harder. The financial part was the big problem. Milk prices are the same as they were in the 70s or 80s. Things got really tight, and we <laughs> paid the bills when we could, and hoped we could continue to pay them, and then we kind of started to fall behind, and it just got to where we weren't gaining ground. Yes, that's how hard to go. They talked to bankers about expanding and came close to signing for a $2 million loan, but didn't want to risk losing their land or burdening their children with debt. They're nine and five, so I don't <laughs> want to tie them down right now, but... Yeah. Uh, and that was part of it, too, when we were asked to expand. They said they're 9 and 5, they can't make that decision. Okay. You know, if they're 20 and they said, yeah, we want to go all in, we probably could have. But whatever they decide to do, they're just responsible and kind, caring people. At the end of the day, that's what we're hoping for. It's been only a few weeks since they made the decision to get out. The memories are still raw. And it's hard to talk about that last milking and saying goodbye. I'll talk. <laughs> I'll talk. So it was hard. It was something that we knew would be hard, but we didn't realize it would be as hard as it was. And um, we didn't realize how hard it would still be. So I wrote a blog kind of to just tell everybody for our family and friends to know Tomorrow morning, the alarm clock will go off early, 4.30 a.m., to board our dairy cows on trucks and trailers for them to live on other farms. There isn't a book for this. There probably should be, but no one wrote about what to do next when you sell your fourth generation family farm. No one wrote a book about how to get through that last milking. Tears never seeming to end as you hold each other tight with no words to be spoken. No one wrote a book about where to go from here or how to get over the emotions of the loss you feel in the pit of your stomach, the heartbreak. No one wrote a book that tells you how to get over that feeling of failure, even though you know you gave it your best to the bitter end. Through Facebook, Jenny's post was shared thousands of times. Yeah, our phones were blowing up that yeah. night for like the next week, just text messages, phone calls. Um, and then like you said, uh, messages online from all over the country and the world. Um, it was quite amazing, I mean, the yeah. outpouring of support. Witnessing the widespread interest in their story, Jenny and Weston say that much more than their dairy herd was being lost. I think a sense of the culture of America. <laughs> I mean, really, that they say, you know, like Wisconsin, America's dairy land, and... I think growing up, the family helping the next family down the road. The responsibilities we learned as kids, the work ethic, I don't know if you see that as much. While Weston weighs his work options, they all enjoy the unexpected family time together. Even if our kids aren't gonna grow up milking cows, it's still important to us that they still get that same work ethic into them that you did. I still wanna be able to raise my boys in the 400 acres here we have tucked back in this valley. Oh, knock down. <laughs> Get down. There you go. 